Today, we are talking about drain water heat recovery systems. So what is a drain water heat recovery device or a recovery system? Well, a drain water heat recovery device is a passive plumbing device that saves energy used to heat water. This device takes advantage of the warm water flowing through the drain waste piping from bathtubs, showers, dishwashers, and washing machines to preheat the cold water line going into your water heater. Preheating the water reduces the amount of energy needed to heat the water in your water heater to its set temperature, thus saving you money on your uh, energy bill and reducing the amount of work your water heater burner or water heater uh, electrodes have to do. So here's what a drain water recovery device looks like. The drain water comes in from the top. So the red pipe would be your soil stack, you know, your drain waste pipe that goes to the sewer. Your fresh cold water would come into the blue coil And then the warm water would come out and to your inlet on your water heater. So as the water travels around that blue coil, the, the heat energy from the drain water will transfer through the piping into the, the fresh cold water and warm it up. And then of course, your, your water, your drain water will continue on down to the city sewer or to your septic tank. Here's sort of another sort of top 3D view of that device. So here's what the actual device looks like in the real world installed. You can see basically it's a, it's a large section of uh, copper pipe with a copper tubing wrapped around it. Again, water comes in on the bottom, goes out on the top and there's, there's rubber uh, couplers with large uh, hose clamps that you just simply clamp it to the existing uh, soil stack or ABS drain waste vent pipe there. And there's a better diagram to show you the incoming cold water and then the outgoing, the green pipe, is the warmed water that you would then connect to your water heater inlet and they use again how this connectors and this particular device is called a power pipe and you can buy this at Home Depot for a little over 500 bucks uh, this is not a paid promotion for Home Depot's product so what are the advantages well again lowest cost and shortest payback on your money amongst water heating saving technologies uh, this particular model is the R3-36 and they claim it will save up to 26% uh, on your water heating costs and it's easy to install by any plumber and most do-it-yourselfers. Um, all residential R-series units include matching drain connectors and connect easily to a three-quarter inch fresh water line. Again, that would go water inlet, water outlet lines. Uh, for three inch drain pipe, uh, and requires a vertical drain pipe length between fittings of 39 inches. And then according to the CSA testing with the uh, R3-60, uh, performance is proportional uh, to rated efficiency. And this, this is a passive device, it requires no maintenance. And again, it can extend the life of your water heater because your water heater will not have to kick on and off so often. And you're helping warm up the cold water before it goes into your water heater. So it doesn't have to run as long, work as hard, etc. Um, there's no noticeable loss in water pressure. And then obviously you're reducing your greenhouse gas emissions and they claim by up to one ton per year. Uh, and again, easily installed. Basically, you're getting you're cutting into the pipe, removing a section of the ABS drain waste vent pipe and installing this device. 
Um, other heat exchangers you may have heard of, may not have heard of, are called shell and tube. This is what they look like. So on the left is with the lid removed. On the right hand side with the lid attached, you can see you got cold water coming in, hot water going out. You got the coil inside. So the shell is the exterior um, structure. And then the tube is the tubing inside. Sometimes it can be a coil. Sometimes it'd be several you know, stainless steel tubes that go back and forth in sort of a zigzag type pattern. Uh, these generally are going to need a pump though to pump the fresh water through and to pump the, the, the warm uh, water through. So this wouldn't really work very well, for example, in a, in a, a gravity uh, drain waste vent piping system. This particular setup would be more appropriate in an industrial setting uh, if you have a process loop in your facility where you need cooling water on a regular basis to cool down pumps or a particular process or keep a particular fluid at a set cool temperature, uh, this would be an option. Uh, this would also hook up to, you could hook these up to a uh, exterior um, water cooling tower to provide the cooling water for this kind of shell and tube heat exchanger. Anyways, I hope this information helps. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment for future video topics you would like me to cover. Thanks for watching.